Well, good nasty morning, everybody. My name's Andrew, and you're watching the Kelly's Country Life. So I haven't did a garden video in quite a while, actually, since the frost caught us off guard and burnt a lot of the garden up. Some things have rebounded, some things didn't. We have did some replanting. We're going to do a tiny little bit more today, but I kind of want to show you all where everything's at, and uh, I got to do it quickly. It's been raining the last 24 hours straight. It just stopped. I just checked the radar. Probably in the next 20 to 30 minutes, we're going to get hit again. So it is what it is. Let's check out the garden real quick. So starting over here on the side, yes, I know. I've got to do some weed eating and mowing. All this rain has got the grass just exploding. If y'all remembered, I planted some uh, pepper seeds a while back that uh, somebody gave Tiffany. They are doing very well. we got little pepper plants everywhere. These are all yellow and red bell peppers. So I need to plant some of those quite quickly. I also dug out some uh, pine cone seeds and tried to plant some pine trees. Utter failure other than we did wind up with one pine tree. So almost, uh, almost a complete failure with one little success. You're probably looking at this going, hey man, I thought you don't like tomatoes. Well, guess what? I think we're actually gonna plant some. So we were at a restaurant the other night when we took a break and went out on the coast and I ordered a yellowfin tuna sandwich. Oh, I love them. I forgot to tell them no tomato. So it came with a tomato. I've hated tomatoes my entire life. Just the taste of a raw tomato, uh, it gags me. I can't stand it. I wish I liked them, don't get me wrong. So it came with a tomato. I was like, dadgummit. Tiffany, do you want this? Threw it over on her sandwich. Said, you know what? I hadn't tried a tomato in a long time. Taste change. Let me try it. I bit into it. Hmm. It was nowhere near as bad as I remembered. I actually wound up putting it back on the sandwich, eating it, and kind of enjoyed it. My taste has started to change for tomatoes, shockingly. I try them every couple of years just to see, and the last time I tried them, couldn't stand them. This time was different. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna pick up some tomato plants because people have been asking me to plant some out here. We're gonna try it. I've never grown tomatoes before. I know that the disease can catch them quite easily, so we're gonna have to see. I don't really know what I'm doing. We're gonna get it figured out though. So we will plant some of those. Might stick a few in the ground today actually. So over here is the little pepper garden. They are doing very well. A couple of them got bit by the frost. They have rebounded greatly. Nice and dark green. They are loving this compost. No, uh, no peppers yet. They got to get a little bit bigger, but I am starting to see some tiny little flowers and buds in there. So it won't be long before these will be putting peppers on. Over here in what's left of this nasty bed that I've got to clean up. Tomatoes will do in the end. A few more peppers out there. We're going to finish that off. But let's go take a peek in the garden. So one subscriber's always told me how much he loves the sound of this opening. So I always open it on camera for him. So if we take a peek in the garden, let's start over here with the okra. I had it covered up very well before that last frost and it got hit hard. Even being covered up, I thought I was gonna lose every bit of it. They wound up turning very brown. The leaves burn up, just did not look good. I've left them alone and while they still don't look amazing, they're coming back. They look well enough that uh, I think I'm gonna let them go. Some of them are starting to look a lot better, but have some yellow to them. They definitely got hit hard by the frost. See some of these dead leaves right here. So I hope that they make it. We shall see. Now I still have some missing spots like that right there. I need to stick either some plants in or seeds. Then came out and replanted once. And you can see where a lot of those are coming up, say here. I lost both of these rows to the frost, a huge section back there. This is all my replants. They're coming up great. So definitely need to thin this out. Lost both these end rows too. That's all my replants coming up. Beans got hit very, very hard. I replanted them some. Some made it, some bounced back, but uh, got hit very, very hard. Some replants are already starting to come up, as you can see right here. I am messing a couple sections. I might be able to dig some plants up and transplant. We shall see. I didn't have good luck with that last time. So potatoes, oh boy, do these look good? And I kind of made a mistake here. So let me show you all that. These two got burnt so bad they went down to nothing. No green left in them. I thought, okay, for sure, they're dead. Well, I left them alone. They wound up sprouting new little green shoots back out. Here they go, taking off. The rest of the potatoes, you can still see some burnt leaves down in there from the frost. They did very well. They have exploded in growth the last few weeks. Just, I can't get over it. So here's where I messed up. I've done come out here and healed my potatoes up, but 
where I messed up is I have no more compost. I really need to fill these center sections in and could heal them up one more time. I just don't have enough soil in there now, as you can see, to heal them up again. Now I threw it up quite a bit one time. No doubt they'll make some potatoes just like this, but they are probably not gonna make the amount of potatoes that they could make since I'm not healing them up anymore. I do not have any more compost to throw in here. I need to fill these center roads or back up. That's where I messed up. So I had some compost left. For some reason one day I decided to clean that area up, took the tractor down there with a the bucket, got the last of that compost up, stuck it in my new compost pile that's got all that topsoil and grass and wood chips and everything else, and just started mixing it all up. So there's no way I can get access to that compost anymore to fill the center of these rows in to kind of do a second healing. So it is what it is at this point. They are healed up pretty well, so I think they will make a decent amount of potatoes. I'm probably just not gonna get the production that I could have because I wasn't thinking. So I have been struggling over here. We're about to do some replanting of my squash. No, this is zucchini, excuse me. It got hit really, really hard. Only technically two plants made it. Everything else I lost to the frost. And the reason I say this one didn't make it, it's just not, it's not growing well. There's a couple of them that got really stunted by the frost they tried to come back but they're just not growing so i've already done some replanting as you can see but even with my replanting not everything came up some did some did not now my uh squash was quite covered quite well the majority of it made it actually i'm even starting to get some little flowers down in here they'll open up before long and start making squash for me so these are going to be way ahead of the zucchini already did some replanting of those as well that came up the replanting did okay like see this one got hit by the frost and it's just it's not wanting to grow at all it's just stunted but you've already got a little replant coming up right there and back there so it is what it is with these we're going to kind of watch them i hate to have such an odd mix match garden this year but i just could not help the frost so i have been doing a tremendous amount of weeding over here in these i just keep these keep popping up by the hundreds right here I keep pulling them out I finally realized what the heck is going on I planted peppers in this box last year and I let all the peppers just hang on there and basically rot on the vine hit the ground that is peppers that's coming up from last year I have been digging them up by the hundreds so I must have had hundreds if not thousands of seeds make it in that soil apparently they can lay dormant <laughs> and uh that's why I'm having to weed so much I mean look at this look at all that that looks just like little pepper plants I just keep pulling them up by the hundreds so i kind of messed up there see that is definitely a pepper plant corn doing excellent i've uh, a lot of the corn is actually feeding itself through with the wind believe it or not but i've come out and fed some of it through we're going to do a little bit of that on camera today the cattle panels i'm hoping are going to really help support them in the wind thus far none of the thunderstorms have blew them down I did go ahead and heal my corn up. Didn't record all that the other day just because I didn't intend to do it. Just come out here and started working. Next thing I knew, I done kind of did a pile of work in the garden. But I just healed everything up by hand since the cattle panels are kind of in the way. Um, it was no problem. Just kneeled on the ground. Healed up to both sides. Didn't take me but just a few minutes to heal all this corn up. And this is probably the last time I'll heal it up since it's going to get its support by the cattle panels. So if y'all remember, I lost everything in this bed to the frost. So I lost all my cucumbers and all my cantaloupes. I replanted cucumbers. They are doing very well. It's time to go ahead and thin those out a little. I'll lightly thin them. My cantaloupes, there's my new transplants coming up. You can see some of the old ones that got burnt right there. They're just not going to make it, but transplants are coming up. I will say they're being very slow to grow, but we have not really had a whole bunch of hot days. And cantaloupes definitely like hot weather. Beans are still just randomly coming up in the garden. <laughs> I did not plant them. I have dug four or five bean plants out of this spot. They still keep coming up. Something has hoarded a bunch of beans there. And I thought I figured it out. Y'all kept telling me to put cameras and things in the garden to figure out what's, what's digging and moving your beans. Well, I was sitting out here the other day and I watched two little birds come off the power line and start plucking seeds out of the garden. And sitting on the top of that post right there, I could see them eating seeds so it looked like they were getting some of the squash and zucchini seeds that might have got exposed by rain or watering so i was like there's the problem and i got to thinking birds don't go berry seeds so i'm still not sure why i've got beans popping up everywhere maybe it's some more dormant seeds from last year who knows 
so this bed got hit very hard by the frost i kind of went crazy on the replanting <laughs> look at look at the corn what was i thinking i must have put a hundred seeds in each of these little rows lost a lot of my corn but a lot of it got replanted actually look at here we've got bug problems already in the garden shockingly and we had a real winter so we're gonna have to work on uh work on some bugs here in the corn but i have got to thin some of this out today beans i replanted because i lost a lot of them over here you've got some new ones starting to pop up as well as a few plants that did rebound they need to be thinned out as well over here cantaloupes eh, it's kind of the same story they're they're coming up but they're struggling um i don't know if it's the the compost they're not liking or if it's again kind of been a little cool it ain't been cold but we haven't had like a bunch of 80 plus degree days that i think these really need to get their button gear but i do have some coming up my blueberries are looking quite happy other than this one that i almost lost but if you look in here you'll see little buds and flowers everywhere look right there and some little blueberries coming on grape vines looking happy and healthy this is the one we planted last year i mean there is little grape pods everywhere in this thing look all down in there so it's doing really well really nice and green this is the one that we just bought no great pod doing it at all surprisingly but it looks happy and healthy we'll try to get it to uh vine and grow this year through this trellis all right so i've got just a few zucchini seeds left i'm gonna try to get just a couple more plants to grow you know i'm struggling Maybe I'm being a little impatient. I just dug up a seed that was opening up. They're just taking a long time. I think it's just all these overcast, rainy, cool days. We need the ground to get hot. So as far as the okra goes, I'm still not sure how tight I want it. Everything is probably a little too tight. Last year, I can't remember. I want to say I did 10 or 12 inch spacing on my okra and it produced a ton. I was thinking I wanted to go even tighter this year to experiment, but last year honestly made more okra than we could eat, freeze, can, and give away in one little bed. So I probably need to thin this out to about what I did last year. But since everything is not looking the world's healthiest yet, I'll do some light thinning, but I'm not thinning all the way to where I want it to be just yet in case some of these plants don't make it. Now, I'm really excited about this. I hope it works. I hope the wire doesn't actually damage the corn and the rain and wind. That's one thing I'm really kind of worried about. If we get a lot of wind and the stalk keeps hitting against this, it could snap it over. I don't know. One way to find out, we're going to try it. I'm quite surprised at how well the corn is growing through this stuff without my help. But there are some pieces I want to direct to other openings. Probably gonna have to come out here every day for probably the next week or two to make sure I direct these through. Because once they get too tall and bound up in here, you wind up breaking them, trying to feed them through. So this will require a little extra work for a little while. I think I'm gonna leave the majority of this corn super thick just to experiment. I think this compost can support more corn than I'm even realizing. So 
So I feel kind of bad. I actually had someone reach out to me a few weeks back. They had went and bought several hundred tomato plants from a big nursery. And uh, they contacted me and said, I've got way more than I need. Would you like some? I said, no, I don't like tomatoes. I don't eat them. And I turned down those plants. Now I'm kind of regretting it since I'm going to try to grow some and eat some. I wish I had known then at the time that my taste had changed a little. I also should have got my button gear earlier and got uh, some paste tomatoes so I could try to make tomato sauce this year. That's something I've been curious about with Canon. I really don't know how big these get, but I've got a few of these extra large tomato cages. So we're going to use these. And then we'll use a few of the smaller ones that I have. All right, so we'll try these out. I've always heard tomatoes are quite finicky when it comes to rot and disease, uh, even bugs. So y'all let me know some ideas of what I need to put down. I think it's bone meal or something like that I've always heard. I think my father and a few other people have always told me, uh, put that down around the roots when you first plant these. I need to go find some of that. But I'll take any other suggestions that you have for the bugs and the disease that these could get. All right, so the garden is thinned out, replanted. We'll keep an eye on that. It's starting to sprinkle rain on me. So we might as well show you all the citruses. A uh, few people have asked about these. So the old tangelo that I bought is looking good. I need to go ahead and cut those straps and kind of let this thing get acclimated to the wind. A uh, little lime there seems to be doing okay. My other lime doing very well. It's actually still got one big lime in it from a while back, but tons of little ones everywhere. A lot of these will drop off. That's perfectly normal. It's still dark and green. It's budding out, but it's got little limes everywhere. There's no way this tree can support all of them, and it drops in there every, week, every year. It's even putting on a lot of new green growth, so it looks very happy. I decided to come out here and prune nothing because I was going to come out and prune some of the dead ends, but look, like I would have pruned that right there. And a green shoot just come out of the dead end and is, uh, you know, kind of putting leaves on. So it doesn't look good, but I said I better leave it alone. Let's don't put it through no more shock. This little key lime, nice and dark green, looking great. It almost got killed by the frost. It's coming back very well. Myers lemon, <laughs> I mean, look at all the buds there. Ton of them on there. It'll produce a little bit later. It's always much later than the lime, but uh, budding out well, looking good. Got a regular lemon. It looks great. My peach, this thing is, it's taking its sweet time. I mean, really sweet time. I don't know what's taking so long. I've never really seen one do whatever this is doing. Where the heck are the leaves? What is this? But you can see it's getting little buds everywhere, all up and down it. But it is taking its sweet time. For a while I thought it was dead, but no, it's showing signs of life. My mulberry bushes, um, they don't look the world's best, but they're hanging in there. I had to cut the roots because they grew through the pots in the ground, so they went through a bad shock, and I knew that was going to happen. They're still not holding the world's best color. I need to find what type of fertilizer and put down there and really try to give them a good shot. But even this little guy right here, it's got some bad looking uh, leaves, went through some shock, but look at all the berries it's putting on. I do not know why this little guy is loading up with berries and the one that's twice its size doesn't have a single berry on it, so that's kind of weird. But that's neat. I didn't realize these would already put berries on this small. So we'll try those before long. And my loquats looking very happy, very healthy. I have no idea how long it takes before these will produce fruit, but you can see they are doing very well. Everything seems to be handling the transplant quite well other than maybe the mulberries and that's because i cut the main roots to dig them out of the ground so that was all me but it's still looking like they're going to make it hopefully y'all enjoyed this video garden is doing as well as it can to have gotten shocked so bad by the frost and uh we'll catch you on the next video again thank you for the support